Good afternoon. I'm Joe Sinopoli reporting for DuPage Now on this soggy Monday, September 15th. Today's top story, the after effects of this weekend's water deluge. Much of DuPage County is spending today cleaning up after the steady and at times heavy downpour this weekend. Meteorologists said that up to 10 inches of rain fell in the western suburbs this weekend. A flood warning remains in effect for much of the area through 8.45 p.m. Monday night. One of the hardest hit areas was Addison, where residents were still out of their homes today after being evacuated this weekend. Several road closures remained in effect, and public schools in Wooddale were closed as well. Addison officials asked residents living in the southeast portion of town to evacuate Saturday morning, which impacted 350 single-family homes and 200 multifamily residential units along Green Oaks Court. Exactly how many of those residents left their home is unknown. In suburban Cook County, Riverside residents were also evacuated from their homes due to flooding and are being asked not to return home. Many of the village's streets are closed and Riverside Brookfield High School was also closed today. Sandra Katzen, spokeswoman for the Brookfield Zoo, said the zoo has now reopened after being closed yesterday for the first time in 74 years. She said some exhibits are still closed due to flooding. York Township homes flooding during this past weekend storms may be eligible for an assist, assessment reduction. Deanna Wilkins, York Township assessor, said homeowners who sustained flood damage can call for a review of their property. She said a one-year reduction in a building's assessed value is possible. York Township includes all or parts of Elmhurst, Villa Park, Lombard, Oakbrook Terrace, Oakbrook, Downers Grove, Hinsdale, and Westmont. Areas of Downers Grove and Westmont also flooded, and although police reported no major damages, some roads were closed to standing water. Road closures across the region caused major traffic congestion and backups this morning during the early morning rush hour. The National Weather Service in its flood warning noted that many roads, especially near small streams and creeks and other low-lying areas, will remain closed. However, no significant rainfall is expected and flood water should recede today. We have several reporters and photographers out covering this weekend's flooding and associated damage. So check back here at MySuburbanLife.com throughout today for extended coverage. Uh, for all of you who are still cleaning up, please be careful with any kind of cleaning agents you might be using. Be cautious of any kind of electrical uh, systems that, that uh, might be uh, uh, close to water. Uh, for guys, if your power tools have been wet, let them dry out. Let them dry out for several days. Chances are they'll still be good when you come back to use them. I'm Joe Sinopoli for DuPage Now. Thanks for stopping by. Okay. All right. Yep.